Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio with uh, two more examples of why we don't need less abortion. We need more. A lot more. Dateline Macon, Georgia. A woman was charged with leaving her newborn baby in a Walmart toilet. Covered in trash and tissue paper. The child survived. Diane Shorter, 26, jailed on charges of aggravated assault and cruelty to a child. Diane would not be in custody if she'd had an abortion. Or she learned how to use birth control. You slut. Just an opinion. The infant girl was found by three Walmart employees... A customer started CPR until a fire department worker arrived and revived the baby, according to a police report. The child was hospitalized in serious condition. Witnesses were also able to identify the woman who was believed to be the mother, and she was found at her home. Sheriff spokesman David Davis says it's very sad, especially given the amount of help agencies have out there. Like many states, Georgia has a law letting a mother leave a newborn at any medical facility within a week of birth without fear of prosecution. You see, again, this is somebody who should have had an abortion. And by the way, let me, uh, all you uh, people uh, who think you're uh, wise asses, who uh, think that my mother should have had an abortion, don't bother calling in. I said it myself, okay? I know many of you feel that way. My mother should have had an abortion. But when I was born, abortion was illegal. So uh, she was forced to have the child. Now, see, uh, wouldn't you be happier if abortion had been legal back then and she had exercised it? Yeah, but some of you would be. Here's another woman who should have had an abortion. A woman in Leesburg, Florida, was arrested and charged with child neglect after she alleged, listen to this, she allegedly took her four-month-old into a bar and was later found passed out in a hot car with the infant, according to a police report. Leesburg police received a complaint from the Shamrock Bar of a woman who uh, was taking an infant into the business and then falling asleep in her car with the baby. Witnesses said they were worried that the child may be in danger in the woman's locked car without air conditioning and with the windows rolled up. When police arrived, a group of bar patrons led officers to a car with holly bacon and an infant inside. The temperature inside Bacon's car was 80 degrees, police said. Police woke Bacon up and noticed a strong odor of alcohol, the report said. Bacon told police that she was waiting for a friend and only had two drinks. That's what we all say, isn't it? But officer, I only had two drinks. What's the legal limit for drinks? Two? That's how many I had. Two. The report said, quote, she appeared to be oblivious to the severity of harm that she subjected her four-month-old to. Bacon was arrested and transported to the Lake County Jail. The transporting officer said he was almost sickened by the alcohol that emanated from her, according to the report. The defendant's mother has taken custody of the infant. There it is. Somebody else who, had she had an abortion, would not be in this trouble. I mean, a lot more people ought to be having abortions. I really do believe that if you are stupid enough to have sex without a condom, stupid enough not to use birth control, I don't think you should make it a quinella by then having a baby, you ignorant moron. Better to finally do something right and stop the madness and have an abortion. We need more of that, not less of that. Yes, I'd like people to use birth control more often and more effectively. Yes, I'd like people to learn how to use condoms properly so they're not falling off or they don't put them off for the last three seconds of sex and have sex without them for the rest of the time. Yes, I'd like that. But more importantly, um, you know, there's an awful lot of people out there like these two, just my opinion, who are having kids who should not be having kids. 
And they're going to be sluts, and they're going to sleep around, and they refuse to use or learn how to use birth control. The least they can do is stop having unwanted children, like the one you dumped in the Walmart toilet, or the allegedly, or like the one you allegedly fell asleep in the car with drunk with the windows rolled up, allegedly. People like that should have had abortions. A lot more people ought to be having abortions, don't you think? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. We'll break it down for you. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. I'm a fairly good listener. I've been listening for about six months now. I love the show from day one. I've been focused on like a drug addict. The Tom Likas Show. Uh, yeah, it is. All right, then tell me, Miss. Tom, that's our telephone number. Zach on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hey, what's going on, Tom? Love your show, man. Thank you, Zach. Um, I've been listening to you for a long time. We don't have it out in Lubbock, but uh, I wish we did. Anyhow, I wanted to tell you that I totally agree with you and your view on abortion. I had a, a girlfriend of mine, I was with her for about two years. She got pregnant once while she was taking the pill. Um, you know, I would always have to stay on top of her. Hey, did you take your pill today? What's going on? Yeah, I took my pill. I took my pill. Don't worry about it. Well, lo and behold, she ends up getting pregnant. And uh, we decided not to have the baby, which uh, in hindsight, I'm, I'm really glad about this decision. You know, I think about it now. Um, you know, a woman that can't even remember to take her birth control once a day, um, you know, what kind of a mother is, is she going to be? Um, you know, she's not even responsible to take her birth control once a day. Uh, you know, I think that's pretty simple. And then so afterwards, um, she gets on the patch because the doctor recommends, okay, this is, you know, it's an easier deal. You know, you change it once a week. That's all you got to do. Um, and then we went on vacation, and she forgets to bring her patch with her. And I notice, you know, when she's wearing her patch or when she's not. And uh, she tried to lie to me about that, you know. Uh, she said, well, I'm supposed to leave it off for two weeks or whatever. And I'm like, you know, I, I know a little bit better than that. So anyways, I broke up with her because, you know, I think that she was trying to have my child. Uh -huh. um, but, I, you know, I, I totally agree with you. Um, you know, I, I think that there, there are ways to avoid... Now, are you still with her? No. Okay, so that's no, done uh, now. And did you tell her why? Yeah, um, I think that she was trying to get pregnant with my baby, you know? No, you told her that. Yeah, I told what, her that. What did she say? No? And she was like, no, of course not. You know what, that's crazy. Why would I do that? And I think, you know, I think it really messed her up uh, the first time when she had an abortion. And I think that she, she I think she was trying to get pregnant again, you know? And then, and then maybe the second time she wouldn't, you know, she, she just wanted to have the baby. Yeah. You know, in order to in order to lock it down with me, you know, mm -hmm. so to speak. But, you know, I, I, I do agree with you. Uh, you know, uh, I think that I think that some women aren't fit to be mothers, you know, like you were talking about. Um, and I think that this was one of them. You know, in hindsight, I look at her, I mean, she just didn't have her, didn't have her business together. And, uh, you know, she, she, couldn't even, she couldn't even remember to take a pill once a day, you know. Unbelievable. Anyway. Yeah. Well, yeah. you did the right thing, Zach. You dumped that bitch. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt, man. Excellent. Thanks, Tom. Thank you, Zach. This is Ken on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. I enjoy you every night. I'm driving home. Thank you. And I couldn't agree with uh, Zach there more. I mean, and believe me, I mean, I have two kids, and not everybody uh, deserves the right to be a parent. And the one thing I can't figure out, every time you hear a horror story like the ones you're talking about with this kid in the toilet, uh, where's the goddamn pro-life people? You know what I mean? Where are they? Where are they to help her out? Help these single mothers? Help these babies that they're going to need? This kid. Well, the reason that kid is in the toilet, the reason we've had to make these laws allowing women to leave their kids at the firehouse or yeah. the hospital, is because you have all these morons who are trying to tell women they should have the baby rather than give it up for you know give it up well rather than have an abortion or they'll suggest giving it up for adoption whatever uh, they try to turn these women into jello and ultimately they do stupid irresponsible things like the uh, women in these two stories allegedly did yeah but once they have the kids once they uh, these you know pro-life people say you know you've got to go full term and have the baby it's a human being then they're gone right thanks Tom take me out with the uh, blow me up Tom please here you go, Ken. We 
need more abortion, not less. Do you agree? Seriously speaking, we need more. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Frank on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom Likas, it's so good to talk to you. Yes, it is. I have tried so many times to get through to you, and this is the first. Uh, I love your show, Tom. Uh, I used to, I've been listening to you about two years. I hated you when I first started talking to you, but as I've listened to you, you make so much sense. Thank you for I that. I would have known you. I wish I would have listened to you about ten years ago. No um, I was uh, about a three-year relationship. I'm 44 now, but at the time, I uh, dated her for about three years off and on, trying to get things going, and she's back and forth. Uh, I broke up with her finally, and it was done and over with. I was dating other gals, and and uh, the toilet receipt was, you know, like you say. Uh, she she called me up and said, you know, we got together that one last time. She she uh, called me up, said we needed to talk, and I said the only reason we need to talk is if you're pregnant. And, you know, I tried to do the hell mary, and yeah. she 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 wouldn't go for it. Yeah, well, they don't call uh, it the hell mary for nothing, you know. <laughs> It just didn't happen, and uh, I just said, well, yeah, I was trying everything. I was like, because she had actually, we went down because they, they, they took some tests, and when they they figured out that uh, she might have Downs because of the date of uh, conception that was given to her, so we went we went down for this uh, ultrasound, and uh, the woman, I told them then, I said, they told me the date of conception, and I said, I think you need to be talking to somebody else, and uh, she had finally confessed that she had, been she had seen two other guys, so I ended up, uh, uh, went through a whole bunch of stuff with her. I ended up being there because it's just the chance. If she was going to go ahead and have the kid, I wanted to make sure if it, you know, if, I, if it was mine in the long run, I wanted to be there and be part of it. Yeah. And so I was there when she was born. It was a, <laughs> her mother was there, her sister was there. And let me tell you, as soon as my daughter came out, I was, uh, you could forget about me. I was just a piece of, you know what. And so, uh, after she was born, it took about eight months. I moved out and I, uh, I finally pushed for the blood test, and she ended up being mine. Um, she's not taking me for child support or anything. I've uh, always, always paid her a set, a set amount every month. I've figured it out through my attorney of what I should be paying, and I've always I've automatically deposited that into a savings account for her uh, just to take care of her. And then in the process, her mother is so messed up. Uh, you know, she would, <laughs> she's getting ready to go into fourth grade, and she's showing the first grade level of education. And so I ended up paying another thirteen grand to send her to Sylvan to get her caught up to where she's ahead of in in the fifth grade. So I, you know, I'm trying to be a responsible father, do my part. Uh, <laughs> but I'm not getting hosed. I don't think a lot of like a lot of men could be in my situation. You're a very lucky man, Frank. Uh, I think so, but uh, my the wife I have now. I've been married for two years. She supports me and my daughter, and uh, uh, I couldn't uh, be, be be a luckier man. Let me tell you. But Tom, can you take me out Kobe style and uh, with a bong hit and the thank you Jesus? Maybe let's see what we got here, Frank. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. This is so special to me. Oh. You're beating my heart. Oh. The air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Thank you, Jesus. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. This is Liza on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Do you care? Do I care? Probably not. Shut up. Okay. I'm calling because I'm pro-life, and I know you probably don't want to hear that, and you're going to but I am. Well, first of all, dear, uh, Miss uh, Religious uh, uh, Call-In and uh, uh, Preacher, uh, uh, you have a filthy mouth, and it took you uh, less than 20 seconds to say your first curse word. Uh, if you continue to curse like that, you will not be able to continue talking okay. on the air. Okay. So, so you're going to clean up your mouth, you filthy bitch. <laughs> Oh, no. That's a bad word, too. No, that's actually one that's legal to say on the air, and I do. But the one you used, you can't. Okay, I won't. I'm sorry. All right, go ahead. Okay, well, I'm pro-life, and I was hearing about how you're talking about people that are pro-life, and then they disappear once the people have their babies. But there's a lot well, actually, of that was a caller who said that. Uh, the caller? Okay. But there's, like, a lot of programs and a lot of help for these single mothers that don't have anybody else to help them. Well, know? there's no more, uh, nothing more helpful than helping a girl to get an abortion rather than have an unwanted child. You really think that? I really... Oh, yes. Yes, I've helped four women get abortions. I was 
pregnant when I was 17, and I could have had an abortion, but I decided not to. I kept my child. Why? Because she's the greatest thing that has ever but happened. But you didn't know that when you were pregnant. No, I didn't. But that's So why did you have a baby? Why did I have a baby? Because yeah. I wanted to keep her. I wasn't why, a... why do you have a problem with abortion? What's your problem with it? I think it's killing a human being. I see. So it's a religious belief? It's religion. Now, why did you have your legs spread with somebody's penis inside your vagina at 17? Why? If you're so religious, why were you doing that? I wasn't religious. It's just a belief that I have. Uh, it's based on what? I grew up believing that my family's always said ah, that abortion is a bad thing. I see, but fornication is a good thing, your family believes? No, it's not a good thing, it's a bad thing. But you were doing that, and that was okay. No, it wasn't, it was a bad choice. Oh, oh I see. What, a bad them. choice that you made many times. I'm sure that wasn't the first time you were having sex. No, it was not the first time. Or the last time. Nope, nope, I haven't been, but I married the guy that got me pregnant. So what? So I, I was responsible with what I did. I don't think that's necessarily the best thing to do. Maybe not, but I don't think an abortion is... Eighty percent of marriages at that age fail. Eighty percent. You think so? No, I know so. Really, that's a sad thing. That's a fact. Well, it's sad. It's a sad fact. I don't care if it's... A, guess what? You're too immature to get married at that age. You're too immature to be having babies at that age. And the statistics prove it. Then you shouldn't be having sex. Well, dear, then you, but you did. I did, and I'm responsible, and things are going... No, but I dare, that, that is not responsible, okay? It's not responsible. What's responsible is not to be having children so young. That's what's responsible. What's responsible is not to be having sex. Marrying, getting married to, to somebody where there's an 80% chance of failure is not necessarily responsible. No, it's not, but mine is working out, which is a good thing. So far, you're 20 years old. You don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. I guess we'll just have to write it out. Mm. I guess your kid is going to have to write it out. No, my kid is going to be fine. Sure. How do you know? Because I know. You're still practically a kid yourself. I am. So, so how, how do you know how things are going to work out? Because I know. Uh-huh. Yeah, you do, huh? I married a good guy. Yeah, I see. How old, how old is your mom, by the way? My mom? Yeah. 45, I think? I don't know. 45? Yeah. Was she married when she had you? Yes, she was. And she got. She didn't get married because she was pregnant. She got married and then got pregnant. Married. Uh-huh. I see. Do you understand that among the, uh, the risks you have with your kid, your kid is more likely to become a teenage parent because you were one? That's a terrible thing, I know. That's, That's a, a fact. fact. That's a fact. I know it's a fact, and it'll probably happen. Your in kid is also more likely to be an alcoholic, a drug addict, a carjacker, no, a thief. I'm not an I'm more, I'm not a dear, dear, you were not born to a teenage mother. No, I wasn't. But your child was. It's okay, I'm a good mother. These, dear, I know you believe that, but you would have no way of knowing because you're too immature to know. You think so? Yes, and the statistics show that no. kids born to teenage mothers are more likely to be drug addicts, alcoholics, criminals, more I'm likely to be uh, chronically depressed, and more likely to be teenage parents than, the, than, than, chi than, children, than children who are not born to teenage mothers. These are facts. But I, I don't want to confuse you with the facts here, dear. Don't confuse me. Don't worry. You're not. Right. I'm, I'm catching on pretty quickly. Yeah, well, that's good. Uh, Anna, what did you want to say to, to Liza? I'm not a statistic. I, I just wanted to say that I got pregnant when I was 17, and I had an abortion, and that was the best thing I ever did for my life. If I would have had a child, it would have screwed everything up. How do you know that? I know that because if I would have had a baby, I would be in the poorhouse. My family would have abandoned me. It was just, it was the right thing to do, and I knew it. Your family was doing that. My family didn't abandon me. That's well, that's your, that's your family, but I agree with everything Tom says because he's my dad, and he's a genius. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Gosh. By the way, uh, where did you get your college degree from, Liza? Uh, what was your major field of study? <laughs> You know what? I didn't go to college. Really? No, that's right. That's oh. right. I see. And uh, the child's father, uh, where did he get his college degree from? He didn't go to college he either. He didn't go to college either. Uh -huh. And uh, I imagine, I imagine the two of you... It uh, doesn't matter. We I can mean, go. So, 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 all right, so your husband is in college right now. What college is he attending? He's not in college. He's going to start in the fall. He's going to start... I, I, Long which, Beach College, and he's going to be a Long, nurse. Long yeah. Beach College? Yes, what? Long Beach City College, they have a nursing program. So it's a community college he's going to. Yes, it is. The 13th grade. 
I wasn't even going to go to university if I didn't get pregnant. I got pregnant my senior year. I was going to go to community college any damn way. So I see. So in other words, you had no intention. Of, you, in other words, you had pretty much given up on life. You never figured you would oh, accomplish no. anything. So you might as well just spread your legs and go off to I the races. I was going to go to community college after high school. And so study what? what? To become what? A beautician? Oh, what? Be, oh, hell no. I'm too so smart for that. I'm a very smart person. Oh, I can tell. What were you going to study to become there? I was going to be a pediatrician, and right now I'm going to be a registered nurse. Yeah, and what uh, what uh, what community college is offering degrees uh, uh, to become a doctor? None, but you know what? It's a step. I'm going to be a registered nurse. I see. Yes, you see. Ooh. I work here now. Ooh. I have a pretty good job, besides the fact that I'm not a college graduate. What do you do for a living? A degree. What I do you do? For a nursing company. What do you I do? do? Nurses. I do human resources. I hire people and you I hire people. You do human resources. I'm at my job. So you're the one who calls people in the office and tells them they should use more deodorant or they shouldn't chew <laughs> gum in the office. That, that's so a very rewarding I'm the one profession. I hire and fire people. That's and after, you fire them for not wearing deodorant and uh, hire them. I mean, come on. And the, the, people. I do background checks. I do that at my job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand. Okay. It must be a really good job if it doesn't require a degree of any kind. No, it is. It kind of fell, fell on me. And I'm very lucky for this. It, it fell on you? Yeah. It fell from the sky. I see. Mm -hmm. And they're going to help me go to school. They're going to pay for my education. I think I have uh, it. At, at the community college? Yeah. At the community college. At the, what's that worth? About $800 a year? I don't know what it's worth. They're paying for it. I don't care what it's so worth. So you don't even know what it costs to go to school? No, I don't, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. I see. So they're going to help you go to college so you can study to become a nurse and quit the company. No, I'm going to stay with the company. We work with nurses. So you're a medical institution? I am a home health agency. I see. Mm -hmm. And your husband's going to be a nurse? Yeah, he is. I see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how many more children are you going to kick out here before you figure out that you're driving yourself into a brick wall? Oh, I'm not having any more children. How do you know? Because I'm getting my tooth cut. When? Um, March. Really? Yes, really. Well, that's a good idea. Yeah, I know it is. I see. Yeah. And uh, you'll be helping your child go to college, I take it? Well, yeah, community college probably. No, my daughter's going to a real college. Thank you very much. Where, and where's the money for that going to come from? Like I said, I'm going to school. I'm making something of myself. Do you not follow? I, 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 maybe I don't believe. Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's your problem. What do you think, Anna? I think we lost Anna there. Oh, good. All right, Liza. It's been a little slice of heaven. I think more people should have abortions. You know what I'm talking about? I think less people should have abortions. Well, there you go. We're never going to agree on this, but I thank you for the call. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. Until she got pregnant, she decided what she didn't want to get no more hummus. Well, if I do that for you, you have to buy me a minivan. You know what? I brought her a minivan. Did you get a PJ for that? Yeah, matter of fact, I did. There you go, you see? The Tom Likas Show. Los Angeles, the Tom Likas Show, now heard worldwide on the Internet at fmtalki.com. That's fmtalk, the letter I, dot com. Now, if your radio station doesn't broadcast the whole show live, or if they broadcast it out of order, or they preempt us for sports, or they run us at 3 a.m., you can now hear the show live on fmtalk, the letter I, dot com. fmtalki.com. Dot com. And uh, the show is heard, by the way, as God intended it, 3 until 8 p.m. Pacific time. That's when we do it. Whenever you're hearing it, uh, if it isn't between 3 and 8 p.m. Pacific time, you're not hearing it live. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. We need more abortion in this country, not less. Nicholas on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello there, Tom. Hi, Nicholas. Man, Tom, you don't understand. Abortion is, it, it needs to be done. I am seriously in this situation. I currently have a girlfriend, known her for 15 years. Let me just kind of give you a rundown real quick. Known her for 15 years. Haven't listened to you prior to the relationship. That's where my first mistake was. She already has a four-year-old daughter. 
ended up getting her pregnant. I have my first daughter with her, so now she has two kids. Still messing around, ended up getting her pregnant again. Now, for everyone that's listening, abortion in this, in this type of situation and other situations I may not be familiar with is absolutely key because... Let me ask you a question. What about condoms? Don't you think they're key? Absolutely. Not 100% effective, and that was one mistake that I... So all three times the condom failed? No, no. The, the Prior to my first child was using condoms, but, you know, we're going out partying in clubs, heat of the moment, getting drunk, coming home. You know, that's, that's where I ended up having my first child. Um, second one, mistake. I ended up, you know, again, heat of the moment, no condoms, ended up getting pregnant. Now, this is something that's not known. I'm currently homeless because of this. I, I kid you not. I'm living from shelter to shelter, sometimes in the car with my girl, and that's not perfect as it is because I hear her mouth constantly. Guys, you guys, you guys don't understand. Having kid, having a kid, it, it, it like, it's handcuffs. It's like your handcuffs, like 25 to life. You know, and if you leave, if you're lucky to leave early enough, you don't get stuck with vagina money and, and oh by the way I'm not married so that's a blessing I'm, I'm thankful for that I'm just hoping that she does this pre this abortion now well if you're homeless how could you even pay child support well we're, we're together we're together so I mean we're going from shelter to shelter or from friend, friend's place to you know wherever we can go so you you had like no confidence in yourself to achieve anything in life no I do I absolutely well, if you I'm did, right. why did you let yourself fall this far? I haven't listened to you that long. But yeah. with, with or without me, I mean, the fact that you let yourself fall this far indicates you have very low expectations for yourself. No, I don't. I'm going to stand my ground because I'm not going to let this girl break me because I, have, I do have my own business that does bring in income. But, again, having this child and having the possi possibility for another one on the way is is never going to let me uh, fully achieve that. If why do you stay with someone who keeps getting pregnant and having children? I mean, now that you've done it, why are you still there? It's hard to get out. I mean, I don't... I well, honestly, it's hard I don't, to get out. It, it, I don't have nowhere to go. That's, that's the answer. How about you get a job? I, I actually wasn't... I'm in the process of getting a job. No, no. That's one thing I don't. Pal, uh, yeah, you know what? There's, not, there's no big process to it. Right. Right. Well, I'm waiting. I'm waiting to, to, to start. I'll find out because I went and took my, actually I had an interview with a company yesterday, took my drug test. I'm waiting for my drug test to come back and my background test to come back, get my job, get some income, start to get stable, and then that's it. You get an apartment so that they, she can then hire an attorney and take away everything you earn. I don't think she'll go that far. I've, I, you know, she, she doesn't know you'd leave yet. That's one possibility. That's one possibility. She absolutely despises the show, and I encourage her to sh to listen because I the topics that you talk of are absolutely on point, one hundred percent. Don't have kids when you're young. Focus on yourself. Get you know, get a good job. Get situated. Buy a house. Get you know, even if you're single and you still want to mess around, absolutely get it done. By the way, uh, uh, what does your girl think about having you? Know, the kids live in the car with you. No, no. They they'll either stay at uh, like my gra like my mom's house or her mom's house, uh, grandma. So they're not with. I don't want them in that type of situation. But uh, your parents or her parents uh, don't don't want you to move it. No, absolutely. They they I, do I, or don't. No, they don't. They don't. Absolutely. Good not. for them for telling you you can't stay there. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't. Good hear for that. them for telling you you can't stay there. Good for them. They they're doing you the biggest favor. Are they? Absolutely. How is that? Because you have never learned to be self-sufficient. Well, I actually, I you keep out. sabotaging yourself. They're sabotaging me. You sabotage yourself. Right. You do it. Right. You do yourself in. Hmm. I knew I was better than the rest of my family, and the rest of my friends, and my family's friends. I knew I, I was something better. I knew I was something special. I wasn't going to let any girl drag me into the quicksand and have babies before I was ready to do something like that. You clearly didn't think you would ever achieve anything. No matter what I, you're telling me, right. your actions speak louder than your words. Absolutely. You Absolutely. never thought you would ever be anybody. But now since I do, I'm hoping that I didn't 
put my foot too far in the grave. Well, well you know, I, I wish you all the luck in the world, but you've just dug yourself a, a, a 20-story hole. Yeah. I don't know what to do. Hopefully I can get How out How about you stop having sex with her? How about that? Oh, that that's already been that's done with. Yeah, that's done with. Yeah, what, did that, what were you, you at? Six months ago you were done with it? Uh um, you knocked her up just recently, right? I probably about three months ago. We're getting right at that borderline where the 13-week process, because what? we looked into the abortion, and there's, like, the different ways that they do the abortion. So we're getting right at that so point. So she, what, she's thinking about it? No, well, no. We ended up going to the hospital yesterday to get to see her OBGYN to get a referral to bring to the Planned Parenthood. So Why is it taking so long? Her. Oh, I'm scared. Um, you know, we're killing a, a, a oh. baby, and I'm, I'm trying to tell her, you know what? Look at us now with, you know, you have a four-year-old. We have the 11-month-year-old. What is this going to, where is this going to put us? What, you have, you want to go to college. You want to do your arts and crafts. You want to, you want to be successful. You know, you say you want me to be successful. Nobody like, who is a Xerox machine, a human Xerox machine, wants to be successful. They, they, they say that, but they right. really don't want it. Right. And she's dragging you into the quicksand with her. And I'm not, I, I don't, I see it, and I do not want to be there. I'm absolutely, um, this ain't happening. I, I'm, I don't know. I don't know, Tom. That's, I had to, I had to let, me, let me, let me tell you right now what's going to happen, Nicholas. She's going to stall and stall until it's too late to have the abortion. Write it down. She's having that baby. Are you there? I'm right here. I'm waiting for your response. I don't know. I stuck. I mean, um, you 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 don't even argue with me or disagree. You know she's having that baby. No, no, she is not going to have this baby. How are you going to stop her? I can't. I can't. It's all my all my per persuasion oh, well, to her. Hasn't and worked you, so far, has it? Well, I what's I mean, what's the longest that I can wait on an abortion? What's I, I don't know, but why would you want to? That's what I'm saying. I mean, I got her this far to get the. Dude, I got her this far. How you know the time to get an abortion is when she's six weeks pregnant. Right. What happened between the six weeks and now? Oh, working. Working. Oh, I, don't, I can't take time off from work. That's the only income. And how long do you take? You get an abortion. You get. You go in in the morning and you're out by uh, noon. Oh, I'll be her. I need rest time. Let's do it on Friday. The Friday that she said let's do it came and gone like two, three weeks uh, ago. And I'm telling. Okay. Did you see what's happening here? Yes, I do. I tell her. I'm She's like, having the baby. I will call and follow up with you. I'll let you know. If She's, it's having it. It. She's having it. She's having it. It's not happening. She's having it. It's not happening. You you keep saying that, but I'm telling no. you, it is happening. You ha don't know. You're talking out of your ass. It's happening right in front of your eyes, and you don't see it. I'll have to prove you wrong on this one. You time. won't. How many weeks is it now? It's been like 11 weeks. Yeah, so you're two weeks from the end of the first trimester. Correct. And then the whole game changes after 13 weeks. You don't get it done in the next 14 days. You're toast, baby. The end of Tell your friends if you're not going to be living worldwide at fmtalki.com. fmtalki.com. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Or you can call our comment line 24 hours a day at area code 310-842-9592. That's Tom Likas Show.